Good morning, Slayers! It's time to celebrate with your two favorite hosts of the hit acclaimed ratings web show bonanza, The 5 of 10 Show. I'm Zeke Samoy, host of eh, 289 and a half episodes. And I'm Jamal Davis, host of eh, a couple months and one half episode, where we had to shut it down a little early for reasons. Jesus. But together we are the host of the 350th 300... episode. I'm sure I'll practice that. Woohoo! Regardless, this is. A big pinnacle milestone, people. That's more than Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, MacGyver. Who even watches that whoa, show? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hold it. Slow your roll there, partner. Cool it on the uh, MacGyver talk. I, don't, I won't take too kindly for that. Sopranos. Yeah, no one watches that. Yeah. But this is a big event, people. And, you know, we're excited and honored to be able to entertain you all. This show wouldn't be anything without all of you wonderful slayers. So, salute to you. Absolutely. Now, speaking of Slayers, we have our latest batch of new hires on today's show. They were summoned to tell us their lies, their truths, and everything in between in another edition of Slayer Confessions. Cats on house arrest, a rugby player, and a wedding singer? Some may surprise you, so stay tuned for that. And to debut on the 350th episode of the 5 to 10 show, now that's a story you'll tell your kids about. You can also mention in that story the legend that is Last Midget. Last Ooh. Minute. <laughs> Eric and Ed are going to recap week 10 of the NFL season, but we need to check in and check out these cool backgrounds. Yeah, I have a feeling our judges are going to be hungry while choosing this week's winner for our background contest. You know, I think I'm already hungry because the theme of this week is your favorite Thanksgiving sides. Can we get a plate? Oops. Uh, I mean, a look-see, please. I'm already hungry. Nom, nom, nom. Oh. Looks like we got... Oh, it's kind of hard to a lot of, see. It's a lot of mac and cheese, I can Yeah, tell. I do see a lot of mac and cheese. There's some mashed potatoes up there. Look like a green bean casserole. A lot of things that are baked. There's a lot of baking <laughs> trays. I see a lot of baking <laughs> trays with things in it. I'm a little... Oh, I see some cornbread on the very top And right there's some side. tamales, too. Oh, that's what I like to see. Amen to that. Now, Zeke, am I invited to your uh, Thanksgiving dinner? And if I am, may I bring a special friend? Well, of course you are. Of course you are. More the merrier. Well, okay, good. Uh, what time shall me and... El Fuego no. arrive. No, never mind. I don't want it. No, 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 no. I hear he makes a mean sweet potato pie. I don't... Sweet potato pie? How oh, good? Good enough to make you wear your El Fuego shirt to the Friendsgiving. So be on the lookout for an El Fuego Easter egg. You never know where he'll show up. Reminder, one shirt per person, people. Christian, that means you. Absolutely right. Now, in all seriousness, you know who should be invited to all of our Thanksgiving dinners? Hmm. Maybe this guy, Ugo Uche, has just been promoted from senior software engineer to technical team lead. Ugo, we're grateful for all your hard work and user service to the SLA, and we know you're going to make a huge impact in this new role. Way to go, Ugo. Coming up in a few minutes, we'll have an exclusive sit down with Ugo to discuss what he's looking forward to in his new position. Absolutely. Now, if you're looking to impress your friends and fellow Slayers at Trivia, don't waste time and get signed in right now. Punch in that pin below and get yourself into the game. Bing, 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 bing. That code is 1890331. Again, 1890331. And speaking of games, we had a few Slayers actually go out into the VR virtual world at Sandbox VR. They tackled zombies. It looks like it was a ton of fun. It was like a ton of fun. Look at them. Look. Oh, a lot of zombies. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. zombie whoa. vomit. That's worse than regular. Oh, we got some Squid Game here. Absolutely. Season one or season two? Mm, stay tuned for that. Who can tell? Eliminated, eliminated. Difficult game. Oh, they're doing the, they have to go through the blocks. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, in other news. Oh, well, no, we're still, still Yada. Like a, okay. Yada, huge win. Now, in other news, last week was also the highly anticipated two day CE course held at the Claremont Hotel which was a massive success. We had a great turnout with knowledge and networking of plenty, and even a fun mock trial that took place. Congratulations to Warshani, Paige, Annie, and David, as well as everyone inviting, everyone involved in orchestrating a great event. And in some very important news, don't take a chance on your health. This is your final reminder, people. Open enrollment ends this Friday. You have two more days to confirm or change your elections for the upcoming year or add any dependents. So far, only about a quarter of you have completed this process. If you have started the process, you must complete it or your changes will not take effect. So even if you think you've completed open enrollment, it's a good idea to double check. Just double check. Now that we got all that serious business out of the way, it's time to turn our attention to our new hires and find out who's telling the truth and who isn't. And so after last minute uh, with Ed and Eric, please join us. Uh, Josh, please roll that clip. I think I missed that one. 
Hey Slayers, you asked for it and it's back. Slayer Confessions, the sequel. We're gonna find out what's true and what's false from our latest batch of new hires. <laughs> Shall we? My name is Ricky Alcon. I am an associate data analyst here. And a uh, fun fact about me is uh, I can make minute rice in uh, 59 seconds. My name is Susana Vasquez. I'm an associate data analyst. And a fun fact about me is that um, I guess I enjoy going to music festivals and I'm very spontaneous. So I tend to say yes to plans even if they're last minute. My name is Brittany Ferrix. I'm a data analyst subcoordinator, and a fun fact about me is that I have two nieces and a nephew that I spend the majority of my free time. Hi, I'm Sierra Allen. I'm a data analyst here. Um, a fun fact about me is I've given real tattoos on people. Uh, my name is Meg Velarde. I'm a data analyst, and a fun fact about me is that I still have the same copy of Pride and Prejudice from when I was 16 that I carry around and read. Hi, my name is Shreya. I am associate data analyst, and fun fact about me is I love to go on long walks. Like, I can go every day. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Justin Villanueva. I am an associate data analyst, and fun fact, I just picked up golfing. Let's do it. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I was on the swim team in high school. Did you ever compete? Yes, um, so this is a high school league, so we just compete with the neighboring high schools, so mostly with the San Jose high schools. What times were your practices held at? So they're always after school. School ended at 3, so from 3.30 to 5.30. And did you do it all throughout high school or just specific years? All throughout high school, so oh. four years. Okay. Ricky, what do you think? I think it's the truth. Yeah. I think it's the truth. I also think it's the truth. 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 Because I'm a good liar. <laughs> it is wow. a lie. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh I want to color my hair blue. Do you let your hair grow long? Do you like to keep it short? It's long. Rich. Long, OK. When was the last time that you dyed your hair? 2020 for my graduation, but it got canceled, so. What color did you previously dye it? Kind of reddish, but not exactly reddish. Meg, what do you think? I'm going to say true just because I want you to do it. Same for the same reason. True. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say lie. Say a lie. A lie. Yeah, I think a lie is well. Yeah, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I have been a wedding singer. How many weddings have you sang? Exactly one. And did you only sing one song? I sang one song. Just one song only? Mm -hmm. Was that your best friend? She's one of my closest friends. Are you guys still close? Yes. I'm gonna say true. Yeah. I'll say true. True as well. True. Yeah, true. It is true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have six pets. And what are your pets' names? Poppy, Mochi, Boba, Honey, Arthur, and Parker. Uh, what type of pets do you have? Um, I have one dog, puppy, two cats, and three rats. Who is your favorite pet? That's the exact question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My babies, I can't do that. No. Decline to answer. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's true. I think it's true as well. I think it's a lie. True. True. It's true. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I have traveled to 10 states. What are the 10 states that you visited? Let's see, California I've been to, because that's my home. Washington, Oregon, Nevada. Um, I did Louisiana. I've also done Arkansas, and then the Carolinas. So I did both North and South. And then the other two, one was for Tennessee, and then the other one was, oh, Arizona, sorry. What did you do in Tennessee? Tennessee, I was actually going ahead and checking out like the Country Hall of Fame and stuff like that. So like we went ahead and did a lot of that in there. It was really fun. I think it's the truth as well. The truth. Yeah. True. Say true. It's actually a lie. I've never <laughs> left California. I've only been in California. Wow. Nice. That was very nice. I played rugby in college. Do you have a favorite rugby team? Yeah, the USA team. Oh, uh, what kind of shoes did you wear? Cleats. I don't know. I'm gonna go with lie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say lie. It's truth. Yeah, it's true. Nice. Yeah, nice. Rugby, that's fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it is really fun. It's very competitive. Um, I did get like a couple of like shoulder injuries, and it was really fun, like getting to tackle like 
girls like two or three times my size. <laughs> <laughs> my cat has been on house arrest. <laughs> what? <laughs> What did your cat do to so? That's my question. Uh, he was, what did he do? <laughs> he was fighting with another cat, and the owner of the other cat uh, was trying to break up the fight, but couldn't do it, so she called the police. Um, did this incident happen like during the daytime or nighttime? It happened during the day. Um, yeah, because I remember later on, uh, my mom had called me like way after I was out of school. She was like, dude, your cat's on house arrest. And I was like, what? <laughs> what type of phone did you have at eight years old? Yeah. Yeah, what phone was it? Uh, <laughs> it was definitely a flip phone. And it was because uh, <laughs> my parents forgot me at school one day. So my grandma bought me the phone to make sure I could call somebody to pick me up. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm going to have to go with Bly. It's a good one, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe lie. True. 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 Yeah, I think it's true as well. Well, it was true. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Poor one. No. Man. Not it's too bad. Fun. Not too bad. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you guys so much. It was a pleasure. Now, we're going to head back to the studio. Morning Slayers, welcome back to Last Minute, the show all about NFL football. I'm Ed. And I'm Eric, and we got a lot of NFL football to talk about this week. Uh, we're in our second half of the season, and it feels like for the teams are establishing themselves as uh, the best teams in the leagues. Yeah. And a few of them. Yeah, it's for, yeah, for some of them, and for some of the teams are establishing themselves as the worst. I'm talking about my boys, my Giants. That's <laughs> That's fine. What? That's fine. Go what? ahead. What? Funny you hey. should bring that up because we have some amazing highlights related to your Giants. Let's see it. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's yes. see it. Can we see T Eric's team, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in overtime, your guy fumbles close to his own end zone, easily setting up his game-winning field goal. I mean, look at this. And this is you after the play. <laughs> There's nothing I'm going to say, man. There's nothing to say. I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to yell. I did all mm -hmm. that on Sunday. I uh -huh. mean... We're terrible, dude. You know what? what I'm saying? We flew all the way across the East Jesus just to lose in overtime. I mean, <laughs> come on, y'all. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw the highlights: the fumble, the turnover, mm -hmm. the field goal kick to end the game mm -hmm. to lose 20 to 17. Mm -hmm. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I said I wanted five wins. Remember, I was like, "Yo, yeah, you said five, five wins. yeah." But the way we playing, I think I'm. Forget it. We might just go with two and sixteen. Yeah, we're gonna end it with two and sixteen. Might not have a might not have a team. But, May yeah. not. I mean, I don't, know why, <laughs> I don't know how our coach is still holding on. Man. Well, well, I just want to make sure everyone saw the best parts of that game. You know who also finally made an appearance in an NFL game this week? Hey, y'all, uh, listen to me. Listen up. <laughs> Tune in. Listen, listen close. Um, he's about to have a moment right now. <laughs> Who made, who made his appearance, e? well, My Kenny Pick 6 Pickett has nice. made his triumphant return to the NFL field with the demolition of the Cowboys. Just fantastic. Like my man Stephen A., um, I do love seeing the Cowboys lose and watching the mm -hmm. fans' reaction, you know what I'm saying, because their pain brings me joy. That's true, yes. But Kenny Pickett didn't do anything to win that game, man. What? No. <laughs> I have video anything. evidence of him winning, and here it is now. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Look, there he is, Eric. Look at that handoff. Nobody can do that. He's an all-time great with that handoff and yeah. setting up that amazing field goal. Yeah. And then knowing that Kenny was in the game, he willed his defense to make this amazing interception. And look, that guy is pointing at Pickett saying, this is for you. And then he does a weird dance for some reason. <laughs> Here, take this and run. That's all he did. What? Amazing. I'm not sure what that was, but Kenny Pickett didn't win you that game, man. That wasn't all Kenny. What? You, know you saw the score? Pickett is unstoppable. <laughs> And enjoy the moment, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna see that again. <laughs> Probably not. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> I know. Agree to disagree. Right. So we'll move on we'll to disagree. our core <laughs> core value recap. <laughs> ah, yes. I look forward to this part of the show, man. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We Let's have collaborative. Look how cute and fluffy he is. Oh. I'm not gonna say anything anymore, man. The cats are here just for a few more months. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I can I can put up with them. I'm not gonna say anything no more. What? Okay. Well, that's fair. So what team did we go with collaborative for this week, anyway? Eric? Um, we went with the New Orleans Saints, man. So a uh, nice job to Prague his team. Shout mm -hmm. out to Prague for beating the Falcons, uh, the Saints. Uh, they did get rid of their coach. They did, yeah. Yet they still mm -hmm. pulled off the W. They still so got it. Yeah, that was that was a good win for them. It's pretty good. Yeah. The Saints, with former Raiders All Star QB Derek Carr, were yeah. able to overcome their team's losing streak and even with a brand new coach. 
Carr threw some bombs, man. Did y'all see yeah. that game? Yeah. Um, he it's threw really a bomb good. to his wide receiver, and he never looked back after that, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, taking the lead against the Falcons. Um, nice job to the Saints. You know, that NFC South is a crazy division. Yes, I know. Especially Baker is playing well yeah. to that division. Nice oh, job yeah. to Baker. Yeah. Shout out to the Niners, actually, for getting that win against the Bucks and yeah. for getting McCaffrey back. Good job, 49ers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, y'all did get the W, but what are you going to do about the kicker, man? I mean, three. Yeah. There's three of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you would have missed that last one, and y'all and they would have went to overtime, y'all went to overtime. I think y'all would have lost. That. I think, I think so the Niners would have took yeah. an L. And again, it's not hate. So please, everyone, relax. <laughs> it's just my thoughts. All right. I mean, in reality, you guys are gonna be fine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you guys are going to the playoffs, but it's gonna be rough. It will be. It's gonna yeah. be rough. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, let us announce the winner of this week's football pool so I can get out of here and wait for my man. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Ed, Ed, <laughs> what? There's my guy right here. Oh, okay. Thank right you. Right Even with my creepy cat pictures. <laughs> uh, I said, you my guy, not the cat. Said, <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, you can't escape anyway, Eric. It's I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Drum roll, please. The winner is. <laughs> Alice Doe. Hey, congratulations. congrats on your win this week, Alice. Yes. You got 2,500 high thrive points. Nice job. She is always winning. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? Nice Time job. Time traveler, Alice. maybe. No, she, she knows the game, man. Yeah. For real. Mm. Well, Shout out to Alice. No, no, nice job. Well, that'll yeah. do it for last minute. This was a fun one, Eric. It was fair. Um, <laughs> you know why I feel the way it's fair. You know, my mm -hmm. boys took the L and everything. But have a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you all at the luncheon this Friday. Mm -hmm. Let us send it back to Jamal and Zeke and our interview with Ugo Uche. Yes, all right. And have a great week, everyone. You know it will just be the same next week, Eric, with more cats and Kenny Pickett. So uh, you can't escape the truth about Kenny. There's nothing truthful about Kenny, not even his face. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Bye, everyone. Let us meet Ugo. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. Thanks, Ed and Eric. Now, as promised, we have a special guest joining us live. Please welcome to our show, making his debut, our newest technical team lead, Ugo Uche. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Zeke. Of course. Pleasure. I know. We're so glad to have you. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Oh, thank good. <laughs> thank goodness. Now, we just want to start off by saying congratulations once again on the promotion. Thank you. Of course. You know, everything we're hearing is that it's more than well-deserved a long oh, yeah. time coming. Yeah. So we're so happy for you. Yeah. Now, before we dig into your new role, we just wanted to ask, uh, can you walk us through your journey here at the SLA? Oh, thank you, Jamal. Uh, thank you, Zeke. Um, it's been a beautiful journey so far. It's been really, really good. I, I joined the SLA early 2020. Uh, back then, we were still at San Francisco. And that was just right before COVID hit, actually. And um, I was actually the first internal developer in the technology department. Uh, so back then we had a great vision, which was to build up our internal team, you know, get it to the point where we can actually independently groom and implement our innovative ideas internally. Yeah, it was it was a little challenging at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're the was, only one, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot going on back then. We were, you know, moving our infrastructure to the cloud. We had lots of enhancements going on, uh, sleep enhancements, rapid enhancements. Um, yeah, we had a lot going on. But at the end, it was it was a huge success. Today we have an amazing, you know, highly experienced team of you know team in the technology department. Yeah, and it's all thanks to Mitchell and Vani. Wow. Now, what is it about the SLA that has kept you here over the years? Hmm. Uh, first of all, the SLA is a great place to work. It is. It's, it's an amazing place. We, we have a unique work culture here. Uh, we have a good and, you know, supportive, you know, work environment. And yeah, most importantly, I have a great team, which I'm so proud of. Um, they're very, they're highly motivated, you know, and they're very collaborative. Yeah. And also, secondly, I'm also very passionate about what we do here in the SLA. So, yeah. That's always, always good to hear. You know, Thank I you. want to go back to your team in particular. Is there anyone that you'd like to shout out or maybe anyone at home that, you know, you'd like to thank for where you are today? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Vani and Mitchell, they've been, you know, they've been great mentors. They are great leaders. You know, they're really amazing. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to learn and to grow here in the SLA. And um, they gave me the opportunity to, you know, take on challenges, you know, which has actually made me a whole lot better today. And also, I'm very grateful to my wife. Uh, she's been <laughs> she's been very supportive and she keeps, you know, pushing me to be better. So, yeah. Hey, 
Yeah, shout out to the wife. Yes, as always. Yeah. Now, what are you most excited about accomplishing in your new role? Uh, I'm most excited about uh, uh, pushing forward innovative projects. Also, and to continue supporting my team, you know, my team's growth and success. We do have a lot going on in the IT department. We have amazing projects coming up, and um, our goal is to make work a whole lot easier for everyone here in the SLA, most especially the DA departments. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Really. Awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> well, Ugo, that's all the questions we got for you today. <laughs> but I do hear that all technical team leads are required to make at least 10 or 20 appearances uh, on the 5 at 10 show uh, each year. So I think we're going to have you back. Oh, definitely. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Show your mouth. Nice. So, well, thank you. But seriously, we appreciate you so much, Ugo, for coming on the show. Oh, I'm so glad to be Taking here. the time to be here. And once again, congratulations on the promotion. Thank you. Job sir. well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, before Ugo, before we let you go, do you mind helping us uh, send our prize video up? Yeah, of course, Jamal. Uh, what can our slayers win today? The first prize of the day is a $100 StubHub gift card. The NBA just tipped off its season, so grab some tickets to a game or go see Erica Badu, maybe even Cindy Lauper. She wants to have fun, and you can too, thanks to this $100 StubHub gift card. Second prize of the day is a $100 Fleming Steakhouse gift card. What better way to celebrate our 350th episode and enjoy a delicious meal while watching all 350 episodes? So chow down thanks to this $100 Fleming Steakhouse gift card. Finally, the last prize of the day is a $100 Broadway SF gift card. Opera, dance and ballet, plays or musicals, maybe even take in a holiday show. See the certified classics like Hamilton, Beetlejuice, or the Golden Girls Live. All thanks to this $100 Broadway SF gift card. Three amazing prizes to choose from, but who will be the lucky winner? So let's head back to the studio to crown this week's champ. Some great prizes this week, as always. You know, I'm getting worried in my ear, though. I, I still can't hear that it. That we have some developing news. I, st I still can't hear it. Wait, is it? Okay, well. It's happening, people. We've been updating you for the last three weeks about our Salesforce reimagined rollout, and Monday is the day we officially roll it out. That means Friday at 3 p.m., you will no longer have access to the old version of Salesforce. Pre-identified users will receive a login email by, uh, by Monday morning for Salesforce reimagined. But keep in mind, everyone, not everyone will receive a login. So if you're not sure, please reach out to your manager. We're excited for Salesforce Reimagine, but as with anything new, there may be a slight learning curve. So if you have any questions, please contact our Salesforce team, Membership Services Director Adam Rosenthal, or Salesforce Administrator Santiago Aguilar. They are great. Fantastic. And in other news, feeling hungry for a big meal and quality time with all your favorite coworkers? Well, lucky you, this Friday is the SLA's Thanksgiving luncheon. It will be at the Bridges Country Club Garden Pavilion Room in San Ramon. Bring yourself and your appetite and get ready for a delicious spread with all the Thanksgiving staples you could want. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, you name it, we got it. Believe us, you don't want to miss out on the festivities, especially since everyone who attends will be receiving a $250 Safeway gift card to use for your own holiday grocery shopping. So please, if you haven't already, make sure you RSVP to Phaedra's email so we can get an egg accurate head count. And to make the holiday season extra special, those who have been employed with the SLA for more than six months will be receiving a holiday bonus via direct deposit. Why would you want to miss that? Employees who have been with us for less than six months will receive a prorated bonus. And since our holiday luncheon coincides with payday, everyone's bonus will be included in payroll for that week. Very nice. Very nice. Money. Nice. All right. And that's not all. Take a look at our employee handbook for our list of holidays and paid days off. We have a few coming up Thursday, November 28th for Thanksgiving, as well as the day after on Friday, November 29th. We also have Christmas Eve and Christmas off, Tuesday, December 24th, and Wednesday, December 25th. And lastly, New Year's Day on Wednesday, January 1st. So don't come to work those days. Don't use your PTO. The, P the office will be closed. All this season is also a time for giving back. That's why the volunteer cohort is again looking for an awesome group of volunteers. Come help out at the Fertile Groundworks in Livermore on Friday, November 22nd at 3 p.m. You'll get some hands-on gardening time, so please dress accordingly. After the event, a get-together at a local brewery will be happening. There are only five spots open for the event, so please reach out to Kevin Chuck ASAP if you want to claim one of those spots. Uh, Debbie wants National Pet Day off. <laughs> well, we can try our best, Debbie. <laughs> I don't know if we have any control in it. I'll I say. don't know. 
And well, with all those announcements over and done, it's time to give away our first prize of the day, our Kahoot sign-in. That's right. And today's lucky number is number 350. What? In honor of our 350 episode. Oh my, it actually worked. So I'm, glad. I'm just getting word that we don't even have 350 employees. What? So we, actually, we're going to be changing the, lump, the uh, sign-in number to number five to celebrate five at 10. Ah, love that show. So great. So today's lucky sign-in winner is Nils. Congratulations, Nils. So please keep an eye on your inbox for your prize. But for the rest of you, keep your eye on the trivia prize for the next five minutes or so, because trivia waiting room has officially been locked. And that means it's officially trivia time. Let's take a look at all the slayers we have signed in. Shreya, Josh, Heather, uh, Brian. I am Jamal. Just HR. Okay. Oh, okay. The whole department. Spencer's right. Turkeys. What's Indiana Spencer turkey? 10 and 0. I am Zeke. Huh. Weird. Well, I'd love to see it. Uh, looks like we got a lot of people signed in. 84. So I think we're about ready. I think we're ready to get this game started. Get this game going. Who doesn't love some Slayer Trivia 350 epi episode edition? 350, man. A little bit of a mouthful, a but, you know, have we played 350 trivia games? I think not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> From episode 292, this Slayer demonstrated the best techniques for making homemade ice cream. Hmm. Mm. Was it? Glenn Leon. Brittany Trevor, Eric Walcott, or Diana Oveda. Now, fun fact, we also refer to this employee as the SLA's chief ice cream maker at the SLA. Jamal, do you have a favorite ice cream flavor and have you attempted making? Oh, I, I enjoy a good uh, cookies and cream. A classic. That one's pretty good. And I haven't tried to make it uh, from scratch, but I think maybe with the help of Glenn Leong. You sure could, and I already know anyone's had Glenn Leong's ice cream, you know. It's delicious. It's the real deal, real deal. We actually have a clip. Add the ice cream into the ice cream machine, and it's gonna freeze the batter and churn it to add air, and that's gonna take about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That's a long time. That is a oh. long time, but let me tell you, people, that ice cream was fire. Mm, hot ice cream. No, that's not what I was saying. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Not what I meant. Uh, Whoa. What the? Okay. I am Jamal. It would be a question mark anyway, so you should probably change your inflection. I am Jamal? There you go. Much better. All right. Nice. Followed by I am Zeke and Totally oh. Kyle. Nice. Weird names. All right. Let's take a look at question number two. <laughs> I guess that's how people want to celebrate 350. All right. From episode one, the 5 at 10 show debuted on March 22nd of which year? Was it 2019, 2021, 2022, or 2023? Now, the show was once called the Daily 5 at 10 show. Our episodes uh, aired, can you believe this? For about five minutes at 10 a.m., hence the name 5 at 10. Now we just run about 505. 505, yeah, we're, we're, we go a little bit over five, but you know, what can we say? It's yeah. just part of the, that's showbiz, baby. Right. The correct answer, of course, was 2022. It looks like it had some people mixed up. I guess people would think we've been on the show longer than what it is. I, wait, is that better or good? Better I don't or worse? know. I don't know. I well, don't know. let's take a look at that first episode. And to thank all of you who are tuned in, every Daily 5 at 10 will feature daily prizes. Prizes? Like paychecks? Because I still haven't gotten one of those yet, and it's been like three months. I think that's probably something you should take up with your supervisor. We have the same one. Jake, have you, uh, have you gotten a paycheck yet? <laughs> uh -oh. Well, shout out to Jasmine. Shout out to Jasmine, one of my favorite uh, friends. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. <laughs> let's take a look. Still, oh no, Whew, thank goodness. Kevin C, Omar, and Sandhya rounding out the leaderboards. HR is, uh, <laughs> is right there. <laughs> let's take a look at our next question. Question number three. From episode 48, this Slayer worked as a professional pastry chef at Google before joining the SLA. Pretty cool gig. Nice. Was it Zeke Samoy? Oh, the question. what? Meryl Benson, Joanna Martos, or Teresa Fitzgerald? You know, fun fact, this layer blew us away and actually won Best Design in our most recent Halloween baking contest with their Frankenstein eclairs. So, if you're at the baking, or at the Thanksgiving lunch, Halloween luncheon. A little inside information. Yeah, you have to step up in the competition. I know you worked at Facebook, though. No, I never have. The oh. correct answer was Meryl. I judge the Meryl. Let's take a look at her episode. Outside SLA, I am a cake artist and a flower passionier oh. and um, <laughs> occasional um, event stylist. Multi talented. Multi talented. That's, I feel like it's just on par with the Slayers, but I just do want to shout Meryl. Event design, she's done so many great designs here yes, at SLA. Yes. We're so thankful for her. Thank you to Meryl. Let's take a look at who got that right. It should be all of you. If you haven't met Meryl, do yourself a favor. Kevin C., Sonia, and Josh T. leading the way with. HR fourth. 
But shout out to Brian. Up 25 spots. Our highest climber. All right. Let's take a look at our next question. From episode 316, the Slayer was born at the hospital across the street from our office. What? That's crazy. Was it Ryan Lewis, Heather Jimenez, Viho, or Kyla Dare? Now, this group of people started their careers at the SLA in March of this year. And I just want to say, these new employee interviews, some of my favorite. Fantastic. Some of my favorites. You yeah. get to learn about them. You get to have fun. Good times. You know, gives them a sense of who we are as a company. I like that. And we are obviously a good embodiment of the company. <laughs> Direct dancer, of course, Kyle Adair, okay. born across the street, in many ways, born to be a slayer. Oh, right? nice. Call me Poet Zeke for a reason. Let's take a look. Oh, wait, we got the leaderboard. Oh, actually, no, we haven't seen the leaderboard. Actually, we have a clip. Oh, we have a clip. You're right. I'm so, sorry. so I'm actually um, from San Ramon, born and raised. Um, I was born in the hospital. It's across the street from our lovely office oh, here. Really? So. That's amazing. I know. Destined to be here. Destiny. Yeah, Destiny Day is spelled K Y L. E. Boom. Thanks for, the, thanks for checking on me. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Kevin C, Sonya, and HR. I love... Uh, I, HR is climbing. I know. I would love to see it. Now, we go into our final question, though. Question number five. From episode 350, this Slayer played rugby in college. Was it Meg Velarde? Was it Brittany Frerichs? Was it Susanna Vasquez Munoz? Or was it Sierra Allen? Now, this person said she was inspired by uh, the U.S. women's team, rugby women's team, who took home bronze this year at the Olympics. Would you ever play rugby? It seems like it'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, Were there any facts that you're surprised by? Uh, the cat on house arrest. Yeah, it had know? to be. We have to say. I, I looked it up. He's got a record. No, it. Oh, that is a feline headshot. Yeah. Right. Long shot. Well, the correct answer, of course, was Susanna, nice. our local rugby star. But let's take a look at who was our trivia star for today. And that's a wrap. Coming in third place, where we once gave away a shirt, but now we just give away praise. It's Hector. Congratulations. Second place, going home with nothing. Sorry, it's Sonya. <laughs> And in first place, our 350th winner, it is <laughs> HR. <laughs> Congratulations! That's amazing. HR. Oh wow, a 350 winner. That that doesn't actually check out. We just talked about that, but wow, congratulations to HR. I don't know who we give that to, but we'll figure it out. We'll yeah. sort that in the behind Big the winner scenes. winner right there, HR. We love to see it. And as today's winner, all you have to do for your prize is email us at five at ten at slatecow.com. You rule. You rule. Unless you're Michael Scott and you don't like Toby. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that might be. Well, luckily we don't have a Toby on the staff. Yeah. You know, they rule in the sense of being cool Jamal HR does, but do they rule over territories? Do they, do their judgments alone decide the fate of entire kingdoms? Mm -hmm. No, but our background judges do. And let's find out who they are today, shall we? Whoa! I can't believe it! How is this hey, possible? Hey, guys. Wow. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Denitra and Christian. Welcome back to the 5 and 10 show, you two. Thank you. And you know what, Denitra? I'm actually feeling kind of hot, you know? Oh, no. oh God. Let me fan you. These Let lights are bright, you know? <laughs> not... uh, how you guys doing? We're doing, we're doing great. Significantly worse. That is a beautiful shirt you have uh, on there. Oh, uh, you mean this one? Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Like your jacket. I'm going to side with Zeke on this one. <laughs> okay. Well, we're so glad to have you guys here. And let's talk about uh, Thanksgiving side, shall we? What happens to be your favorite accoutrement on the big turkey day? For me, I got to go with mashed potatoes, man. But not like too smooth. It has to be kind of like textured. Maybe like one or two mashes of the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Serve it with skin on. Okay. Perfect. That just sounds like you're like smashing a baked potato. But let's, uh, Denitra, what about you? <laughs> it is smashing a baked potato. But just a nice scoop of mac and cheese. Oh. Four, four cheeses. Just really, mmm. Get the four cheeses in there. Yeah, get yeah, the four, four cheeses in there. How many? Hand grate it. Four. 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 four, no way. Hand grate it. mac and cheese. It Mate. Yeah. Yeah. Nice American cheese home. pool. A little bit of top on there. Oh, yes. Boom. Okay, I interesting choices. Makes me even more excited for this year's Thanksgiving luncheon, which, which me remind everyone is semi-formal. So no uh, El Fuego t-shirts. Make that very clear. Um, well, you don't want to miss it. Yeah, but now, back, <laughs> no, no, back to the game. <laughs> Who's feasting as today's background runner-ups and winner? All right, so for runner-up number one, we're going to go with Mark Santiago. Oh, some oh yeah. yes, Mark. Yeah. Everyone knows Lumpia. Lumpia is so good. I love dipping it in um, like a <laughs> so soy sauce. Uh, yeah, I'm a so sorry. shout out to Mark Santiago. Soy sauce? No. Dipping soy sauce? Soy sauce, man, yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it with some calamansi. 
Well, okay, okay, there you go. More than ever. That's fair enough. Okay, <laughs> who's uh, runner-up number two? Uh, runner-up number two is actually going to be Spencer Wetzel with oh. a burnt oh. fist. <laughs> those are those are rocks. Yeah. Without nice. fail, there has cool. to be some type of like burnt cornbread or biscuits yeah. there. The worst part is it's still happy. undercooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially the on the bottom. Part. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. All right. Uh, who can possibly beat the burnt uh, dinner rolls? Uh, none other than our winner for today, Justin Villanueva, with Ooh. the mac and cheese. Oh, hey, look how burnt it is on the top. Look how crispy <laughs> it looks. Get that nice look at that crispy. four cheese. That might be five. Oh, I think shot. I see a fifth one in there, yeah, I mate. I see some pepper jack wow. in there, baby. That cheese pool's real nice. Look at that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like it. I, mm, I hope Delectable. Just, let me get a slice. Oh, yes. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Justin, on his first, on his first yeah, episode. Congrats. Now, what is Justin going home with? Justin is actually going to go home with a hundred dollar cheesecake gift card. Mm. You think cheesecake they have mac and cheese at cheesecake factory? Cheesecake I factory? believe they do. Probably. Cheesecake factory. factory. He could buy about a hundred slices, one dollar each. Not one hundred cheesecakes. Math is the not math in there. Factory. Well, I couldn't agree more with y'all's choice. Thank you, of course, to everyone who participated. A special shout out to runners up and winner, and of course. The true stars of the show are background judges. Uh, what can I say? Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you both for sharing a meal with us. Uh, your judgment and wisdom is always appreciated, and we hope to be dining with you both again soon. Hmm. Come back soon, you two. Oh, we will. Yes. For I'll be here. Overcooked. Let me formal. I hope. <laughs> Man, amazing, huh? What a duo. What a duo. But you know what also makes an awesome duo? Our Slayers in Employee Recognition. Sorry, Jamal. So why don't we take a look at our next segment, our High Thrive Comment of the Week. That's right, it's Irene Dilio. Congratulations. She recognized one of Marcom's own, Taylor Collins. She wrote a big shout out to Taylor in helping us with bulletin issuance. The FA department appreciates your quick action. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you, Irene, for always being a source of positivity for FA and the rest of the SLA. And as such, you rightfully earned your 2,500 High Thrive points for being selected as our High Thrive Comment of the Week. Just don't spend them all in one place. Try not to, at least. People, don't forget, all you need to do is recognize your fellow Slayers for your chance to win. So easy High Thrive points. Easy. So keep being motivatedly collaborative out there. Oh. And knowledgeable. Oh, I like yeah. that. Doesn't hurt. But we got a few more things to give away, and they just so happen to be wearable and made of the finest materials and threaded by the flamiest of machines. It's El Fuego time, baby. Okay. Who got the Easter egg? Who, 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 who? What am I now? Well, these people sure did. Congratulations to John. T I feel like John's won one already. Deborah Richard, Isaiah Jackson, and Nika Boncato. Congratulations, you all win a t-shirt, unless you've already won one. But, for the questions on everyone's mind. El Fuego. Ah, people, we've last seen El Fuego lighting up the stage at the Red Rocks Amphitheater with Taylor Collins. But this week, the fire has spread far and wide. And we've gotten word that El Fuego has finally landed in Asia and entered the land of the rising sun, Japan, with friend of the show, Jonathan Garcia. Congrats, Jonathan. Great job on today's audio. We sound amazing. And for your good work and t-shirt wearing ability, you will forever be known as the Shogun of Flame. Yeah, uh, great job, buddy. Happy for you. If, uh, you know, if you are at least. I don't, I don't know if he's... He's probably about. happy. Now, people, don't forget, this Friday, Thanksgiving luncheon, food, friends, and a good time at the Bridges Country Club in the Garden Room Pavilion in San Ramon. Bring your loose pants, take a plate home, and now, Zeke, is there anything else uh, you would like to say before we close out today's show? Yeah, actually, Jamal, there is. People... Oh, no, 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 yeah, I got it, friend. Let me stop you right there, Zeke. You've worked too hard. You've been here for most of these episodes anyways. Let me do the heavy lifting and kick off the celebration for 350 oh. episodes. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, but, but Jamal, actually, there is uh, something I did want to say. No, 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 no. You know, you can't have a 350th episode without a tasty celebration. Bring it in, boys. We got uh, cake. Wow. Woo head, cake. Wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what is this? It says it's one layer? It, it says congrats to 500. We got to do 500 to get two layers? Let's show it to the, the fans. What is this? Show it to the fans. I've seen congrats. Brad cake at a funeral wake. 
What the? <laughs> you get a few oh, hey, Rats what? 5 and 10 show. It's nice. Why are you so... All right. No it's... better way to celebrate, eh, partner? Well, yeah, I do love cake. And now I have icing on my hands. But yeah, I do love cake. You have a point, Jamal. But, you know, I really do have to tell you and our viewers. No, no, that... no, no, no. No. That's going to do it from us here at the 5 at 10. I'm Jamal. And I'm Zeke. Thank you all. Zeke, say your line. Uh, thank you. And uh, Jamal, I'm actually leaving the show. Okay, here we go. More PTO with this guy again. I don't know how much more you can take at this point. Uh, my last day on the 5 and 10 show in the SLA will be on December 4th. What? What?